my father, Martin D. Some people say he was greatest player ever. Mr. Martin Dahigo. Now I gotta ask you this. How's a Cuban in the Negro League Museum? Because the Negro Leagues opened up his doors to any and everybody. And there were a lot of players from Cuba who called the Negro Leagues home, including the great El Maestro, as they nicknamed him the master, because he could do it all. Played all nine positions, Harold, played all nine of them well. Martin Digo is reputed to have been the best ball player of all time because he was a superb pitcher, but also a, a great hitter. He was known as El Inmortal, the immortal one. One year in the, in the Mexican League, he wins the pitching title. He goes 19 and two with an 0.90 ERA. Uh-uh, the sucker hits 387 that same season and won the batting title. That makes no sense. He is the only baseball player in the history of our sport to be enshrined into five different countries' baseball halls of fame. He's in the Mexican, Cuban, Venezuelan, Dominican, and in Cooperstown. One of the greatest baseball players that many folks have never heard of, but if you come from Cuba, you absolutely have heard the name Martin De Higo. I'll never forget Jose Contreras when he was playing for the Chicago White Sox. Kenny Williams brings the entire team here. And when he walked in this museum and saw his native countrymen, he just lit up.